Wife posted on Gonwo. My wife and I have been together for 15 years. We have three kids and overall things are pretty good. A few weeks ago we started talking about her posting nude images on Reddit. She's a beautiful woman and was wanting a bit of anonymous sexual attention. And honestly the idea of it was huge a turn on for me. So after thinking and talking about it we agreed to try it out. We laid out base rules and she swore she would be 100% transparent and honest with me. Great. Well, she posted a few images and it kind of blew up. She got hundreds of messages and upvotes. We stayed up most of the night corresponding with people and having a great time. We had tax that night and it was honestly some of the best we've ever had. Such a massive turn on for the both of us. But, things kinda turned south when a particularly handsome man sent her a chat request on the chat app kick. Right from the beginning I could tell she was turned on by what he was saying and the images he was sending her. I had no problem with this. It was kind of the point. A few days later I asked her if she was still communicating with anyone and she said no. Okay I thought. No problem. Then. A few hours later I walked into our bathroom and caught her taking a photo of her boobs. She instantly got embarrassed flustered and quickly made up a story that she was just taking a photo just for herself. No one else. I thought it seemed suspicious. So later in the day I brought it up and asked her to be 100% honest with me. She doubled down on the story. Fine. No big deal. We ended up having a normal night and I went to bed around. 10 for some reason I woke up at about 2 AM and my wife was awake texting on kick. She didn't notice that I woke up. I pretended to be asleep and watched her send messages to him that included images. My heart sank through the floor. After thinking about it I wanted to give my wife an opportunity to tell me the truth. So the next day I asked her again if she had been messaging anybody. She said straight up no and that she wasn't interested in talking to anyone. So at this point I was obviously extremely suspicious. Later while she was in the shower I looked through her phone. I saw the conversation but most of the messages had been deleted. None of the images I saw her send the night before were there. I was torn on bringing this up to her. But eventually that night I decided to come clean. Initially she lied and said she wasn't talking to anyone. Then I brought up the fact that I looked through her phone and saw missing messages. And after an hour or so talking about it she finally admitted to sending him multiple images and even one including her face. A big no-no on our agreement. She said she got swept up and started to get feelings for this guy. And he manipulated her into sending images. She said she was embarrassed and felt guilty about how she felt about him. So she couldn't be honest with me as she thought it would hurt me too much. I should probably give some background on us. My wife and I have had a lot of trust issues in our relationship. She's cheated on me once and I would often find her communicating with ex-boyfriends. Every time I would confront her she would lie until I could definitively prove what she had done. Then she would break down and admit everything. But, this was all years ago and she's been perceivably straightforward and honest with me for a long time. We've both grown up a lot and I felt like we were in a good spot and that I could trust her to do something like this. I guess I was wrong. That night she messaged the guy on kick and said that she could no longer talk to him and deleted the app. She also deleted her Reddit account. She swore that she would never do something like this again. That she wants to keep our marriage and our family together. I'm torn on what to do. It would be one thing if this was the first offense. But unfortunately it's not. So, obviously I'm devastated. Part of me wants to just hunker down and stay together for the kids become distant and unattached. To be in a loveless marriage sounds terrible. I just don't know what to do. Man you have to leave. Unless you want to play detective for the rest of your life. She already cheated and you are catching her breaking rules then lying. You know what has to be done. There has to be consequences for her lack of consideration. Would you entertain asking her to leave the house? So she understands what's at risk and to give you time to consider if you want to try and reconcile. You didn't do anything wrong here. But you should have recognized the perils of the scenario you agreed to. At the very least ask for a post-nuptial agreement to ensure there are strong clauses related to any future EAs or PAs. She needs her world shaken so she can consider what she has to lose. I'm sorry this is happening to you and wish you well navigating the challenges ahead. Second story. I 28 F am listening to the love of my life 31 M have tax with another woman at this very moment. So my boyfriend well on again off again boyfriend of 4 years went out of town to see another woman. He made me two promises one. He would call me last night when he got back to his hotel. Two, he wouldn't have tax of any kind with her. Well, I have been blowing up his phone and he accidentally hit accept instead of ignore and I could hear him talking then her. Then silence for solid minute. Then she started moaning. And yeah, I heard everything. She started moaning his name then I heard her say she's coming. Then the big finale and then him gasp and say that was the best tax he had ever had in his life. I am still listening to them right now. I also kind of want to crawl into a hole and never come out. He and I live together so I have to see him again it's my house and I can't move out. We also just had tax yesterday before he left town. What the hell am I supposed to do now? 
Too long didn't read I called my sort of ex-boyfriend while he was on a trip out of town and heard him having tax with another woman. Edit thank you for all the support. Everyone. It really does help to know there are so many kind strangers out there who are willing to listen and empathize. I have talked to some of my girlfriends and we are going to either move his crap into my garage or into a storage locker and change my locks before he gets back on Tuesday. This may get me in some legal trouble if he decides to fight it. But I don't give a shit at this point. Now I am wondering if I should tell him that he better find a new place to go when he comes back. Or should I let it be a surprise? Update. Thank you all again so much for your kindness and support on my original post the other day. Because some of you wanted to be updated. Here's a quick rundown of a few things that have happened since then. On Sunday AM, after avoiding me all Friday night and Saturday, he sent me a text message apologizing for ignoring me, saying that he had gotten drunk and was sick, had been puking, and had become a d cat I assumed to other girl. Also, he also said he didn't remember what happened and that he was sure he and other girl didn't do anything because he had been so much of a tool to her. It couldn't have been too bad, though, because she wrote on his Facebook wall earlier this afternoon. I texted him back several hours later and told him I knew what he had done, that I knew he was lying to me, that I was moving his stuff out and I never wanted to talk to him again. At that point, he told me that yes, they had put on a little show for me and that they had not actually slept together. He also said that he would now, though, because I wasn't standing in his way any longer. We exchanged a few other less than nice messages but I haven't spoken to him in any capacity since about 10 pm last night. He also defriended me on Facebook. I gathered my girlfriends today and we moved all his stuff out of the house and into a storage unit. I also changed all the locks on my house. I left him a note with the storage unit info and a few other details about his mail and motorcycle. Oh, and some particularly good news I got hired at a second job today so I won't be up a financial shit creek without him. Money was a big reason I stayed with him so long. Now. The hard part begins. I have no idea how he is going to respond to this and I am pretty nervous. Too long didn't read I moved my cheating. Lying. Abusive boyfriend stuff out and change the locks. Edit wow. I am totally overwhelmed by all your encouragement and support. Reddit. Thank you all so very much. He still hasn't come back to the house yet the note. Storage key and mail I left for him outside haven't been moved. I am anxious about how he will react. I told him I was moving his stuff. But I don't think he thinks I really did it. Third story. My 27 male wife 28 female has a tax toy in A that I just figured out was modeled after an ex. I'm confused. What do I do? Is this consisted cheating? So I know this title probably sounds crazy. But yes, I recently figured out that the dildo my wife has was modeled after an ex-partner of hers. I'll explain below. I'll try to not go into too explicit of details. My wife and I have a good tax life. It seems to be healthy to me. We like to try new stuff at times and we do of course have toys. I be always like that and enjoyed that. I of course encourage and like her to have fun by herself as well. She's had the one dildo since before we were married. She has more toys but that one is by far the one she uses the most. Recently I was looking through our drawers for something in the house. I saw a random box I didn't know about. I opened it curious to see what was inside. It turned out to be her toy. I didn't know she stored any of them separately. It appeared that there was some pictures with it as well. I took the pictures out to see what they were. I was pretty shocked. It looked like they were pictures of one of her exes. In the pictures he was comparing the molded one and his own side by side and doing some poses in them. I was a little disgusted. My wife came home later that day and I had the box on the bed waiting for her. She looked a little surprised to see it laying out. She asked me what I was doing. I told her that she needed to explain herself. She said it's not what it looks like. I asked her why she kept the pictures and everything. Instead of in wearing she asked why I was snooping in her stuff. I told her I got curious when I saw a random box. She seemed upset with me and didn't say anything for a minute. I questioned her again about the pictures. She finally told me that she likes to masturbate to the pictures sometimes because she gets to think about having tax with him and it seems hot to her since it was molded after him. She promised that she'd never cheat on me but that this just made her feel good. She said it's just for fun. I asked her if she prefers that over me. She just said that she loves them both. I knew what that meant. I walked off and slammed the door. I've slept on the couch since then and we barely spoke. I want to understand and I want to fix everything that's wrong between us. First I just need to fully comprehend everything. I feel as though I was cheated on. I know that may not be accurate but that's what it feels like. I don't know how my trust in her is anymore. What do I do now? Too long didn't read my wife has a tax toy modeled after one of her exes. It has caused a fight between us. Fourth story. 24 male relationship of 7 years with 24 female. Just found out she's cheated on me a few days ago. I've got terminal cancer. Can't deal with this as well. Help. A little background first I guess. I was diagnosed with cancer at the start of this year and I've been through a fair amount of shit throughout the year. I had intensive chemotherapy from January through to April. 
Then had major chest surgery in June. Thought I was on the mend. Then had a checkup in August and found that it had spread. So I've just finished a cycle of high dose chemotherapy and three stem cell transplants. I say all this because I want you guys to know how much shit I've been through. And how much shit my wonderful girlfriend has put up with and supported me through. Throughout all of this, I've watched her stay strong. Visit me nigh on every day whilst I was in hospital even if it meant she would get back home at midnight when she has to be at work early in the morning. And she would always tell me she loved me even when I looked skeletal, lost all my hair, and was being sick. I wondered at how well she was coping with everything. I put myself in her shoes, thought about how I would deal with it and I found myself questioning if I could. I mean, I have changed so much. I am not the same person she fell in love with. I know that. I mean, it's impossible not to change when you go through all of this. Yet she stayed by my side and always tells me she loves me. I've been back home with her the last week or so after my last treatment and I've noticed a few things. She's become a bit more distant, would barely start conversations with me. Her demeanor has changed and she her facial expressions show that she's hiding something. Trust me on this one. After seven years you can easily tell when something's up. And minute changes in facial expressions and behavior stick out like a sore thumb. So, the other night, she tells me she's going out to see an ex-co-worker, a guy, just the two of them. My first thoughts were, what the hell? Just the two of them, no one else. Okay, bit weird. But what came out of my mouth was, oh, cool, have a good catch up. Then she starts getting ready her makeup is amazing. She's wearing nice clothes. In short, she looks hot. Alarm bells are ringing. She comes home drunk. Not like, mega drunk but the kind of drunk where you roll your eyes and get ready for silliness. You know. Anyway, we get into bed after she adorably falls asleep on the sofa with me. I wake up in the morning and there's no one in bed with me. So I get up and she's sitting on the sofa and silence in the dark. Whatever I say. Her answers are short but I put that down to being hungover. This carries on all day. She barely talks to me. I can't cheer her up no matter what I say. She doesn't sleep that night and her mood carries on to the day after. Now I know something is up and, to be honest, I've already assumed the worst. I think she's had thoughts about me, about how she doesn't actually love me anymore, about how she doesn't find me attractive anymore, about how she's finally had enough of putting up with all my cancer shit. Hell, I may be right, but that's not what's been on her mind these last couple of days apparently. She changed the password on her phone. Claiming that I have a Gmail app on there and it'll have all your present deliveries on there. I don't want you seeing that. Bullshit. I think. She hides her phone whenever she enters the code so that I can't see it. But I got it today. I ducking. Got it today. God. I am getting angrier as I type this. So she met this guy. They got drunk together. With no one else around. And they make out in the bar. He can't stop thinking about her. And neither can I. According to her. So she tells me she's going shopping today and I saw that she's meeting up with him right now and this shopping is just a ruse. I just, I don't know. Seven ducking years of pure happiness. We have this one blip at the start of the year and I thought we were going to come out of it 10 times stronger. But she needed comfort from another man. Even though I am right here, I can talk to her about what she's feeling. And I'd be so happy to help. I just don't know how to cope now. I go from anger at this ducking dildo wanker of a guy for doing it to the most soul crushing depression I've ever felt. Seriously. You have cancer. Hasn't got shit on this. She's told me that she knows I would never cheat on her and she has told me that she would never cheat on me. Ever 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 ever. Couldn't emphasize it enough. You know. I can't deal with this. We have so much together. A lovely house. So many amazing memories. She asked me today what I would have done with my life if she wasn't in the equation. Does she want to make it any more ducking obvious? Here's the thing. Though I can't confront her. I love her so much and I am terrified of losing her. She is my absolute world and I can't even imagine my life without her in it. I want to take her all around the world. See everything this planet has to offer and I want to share all these experiences with her. I want us to come out of this cancer battle stronger than ever before and I want every day to be full of happiness. But it turns out I am just a naive, spineless, hopeless romantic who's too much of a coward to deal with this. I can't turn to my family because they'll turn on her. My friends have all become a bit more distant with me as well so I don't feel close enough to them to talk this kind of thing through anymore. Besides, if any of them read it, they'll figure out my identity pretty quickly. Actually, I hope her co-worker is a redditor because then he can ducking see how hard this has hit me and I hope he drowns in an ocean of guilt. Someone give me some guidance. Please. I don't know who to turn to anymore. Please. Too long didn't read GF of 7 years cheated on me. I am a hopeless wreck trying to deal with terminal cancer on top of this. Too much of a coward to confront her as I am scared of the outcome. Update. Hi guys. Sorry it's taken me so long apparently to give you guys an update. Been trying to sort out all this mess and only just found the time to sit down and get on here. Anyway, first and foremost, 
I'd like to say thank you to all the people on here who took the time out of their lives to help a complete stranger. Sometimes I'm amazed at you lot. Now to the update. I think I may have gone against the status quo a bit but we sat down and talked about this. For hours. I explained how I knew. How I felt very calmly and rationally about it all and how it was difficult for me to understand. Thanks to all the advice on here. Though. I had a few paths I could go down to make the conversation a bit easier and it certainly helped. She managed to open up about everything about how she's not known how to have dealt with everything, and how alone she's felt whilst going through it, and how what she's done has made her physically sick. She knows it was wrong and she's cut off all contact with the co-worker who, by the way, knew about my cancer I know some people were saying he was totally innocent in all this and she can't bear the thought of us not being together. Our relationship has turned around these last couple of days. Some of the fun spirit we lost has come back and we've gone out and enjoyed some great nights together. I know people may find this weird that I can somehow forgive her in my situation and a week ago I would have been right there with you but you didn't see the look in her eyes when she was explaining everything to me. You didn't hear the way her voice trembled through it all. I have never known sincerity like it. Sure, my trust has been violated and it'll take a while for me to truly regain it. But I am happy with where things are going now. Some of you are going to tell me I've done the wrong thing. I expect that. We can't all agree when it comes to these things is all. Relationships work in different ways. However. I just want you all to know that I read every single comment on here before deciding on what to do. I've been a few people whose comments were remarkable and I am sorry if I somehow missed you but I want to make it clear that I read them all. And I am truly grateful for them all. Anyway, thanks again to you all. 5 Story I 25 found my husband's 34 pictures of a naked co-worker 19. Okay, my husband and I just moved to a new city 3 months ago for a job. Which fell through shortly after we arrived. We've both been depressed and stressed out in new surroundings. And he has been distant and strange. We've been married for a year. I caught him on our seduction, which I thought was odd, but I've always trusted him. So I didn't worry too much, but he left his computer on and I wanted to see if there were other clues about his behavior. I found his photo bucket account and there was his former co-worker he was a cook. She was a waitress, two of them she was fully clothed, but one was just her naked body. I did not look very hard to find these, but I feel bad for snooping. Anyway he says that the pics were unsolicited. That. They had flirted for two weeks, but he ended it, and that now they are just friends. The real betrayal was that they've been hanging out for two months on a regular basis, and he's been lying to me, saying he was out with a guy. He's lied so much. My real question is, I guess, should I trust him again? He swears they never got physical, but he's lied about everything else. I don't know what to believe. Too long didn't read my husband's new friend Peter turns out to be a lied young lady who he has naked pictures of. Should I believe him when he says they never hooked up? Edit we've been together 4 years and don't have kids. Update. So, it's been 2 months since I found the pics. A lot has happened. So, I am going to summarize. I left I moved in with my uncle. Watched every episode of Community. And ate a fair amount of chocolate. My husband and I talked every day. And he apologized a lot. After a couple weeks, I decided to give it another try. We went to couples counseling. Talked every day. And things really seemed to be getting better. I started to think maybe things weren't getting better as I thought. I found out he still had her phone number saved on his phone. He kept his phone on silent and with him at all times. Just like he did when I was becoming suspicious. He admitted that they were not just friends, that they slept together multiple times. And she had been to the apartment while we were separated. He also admitted to cheating on me with a different girl last August. And his weak defense was that he was on ecstasy. He started throwing tantrums every time I acted. Suspicious. Sad. Or just wanted to talk. He refused to change his phone number. And sometimes the girl would call him upwards of 30 times a day. She said she was in love with him and would kill herself if they couldn't be together. He finally changed his phone number. She went insane. And started coming by the apartment and ringing the doorbell multiple times. Knocking on the windows. And slipping notes under the front door. Then she suddenly stopped. I was relieved at first. But then he started going on long drives every day like 6 hours. Going to the movies by himself. Never answering his phone when I wasn't there. Finally. On Tuesday. I woke up early and was wandering around the house. I knew something was still very wrong. I happened upon his camera. And yeah, I snooped. I had to reason to trust him. He had pictures of them playing with our dog from Sunday. When I was out of town visiting my aunt, I remembered that he had an SD card he always kept in his wallet. On it, I found more pictures from the last month of her in SI lingerie, selfies of him kissing, and like 20 shots of her ass in a thong. Clearly, that was the last straw. He woke up to me packing my clothes. He begged me to stay and talk, but I left I've moved in with my mom and I'm looking for a better job. I gave him every chance, and he really ducking blew it. That girl is an idiot. She once asked him who the president of England is, and she's ducked like three other guys since they've been together. I've been tested, 
and I am clean. Thank God. I know he can't be really happy with her, but he chose her. And honestly, I am happier now that I left than I was the whole time I was trying to make it work. That said, I am really glad I did try. For anyone else in this situation, if you aren't sure you can leave, there is nothing wrong with really trying to fix it. If I hadn't, I would have always wondered if I made the right choice. Now I know I gave it my very best, and it didn't work, and it isn't my fault. Now I know I'll never go back to him. I won't keep holding on to the memory of our happiness, and I am truly free. I hope this story can help someone. Too long didn't read yet. He ducked her. He told me we could try to work it out. He kept ducking her. I left. I am glad I tried to work it out, despite the fact that it didn't in the end. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing for more videos.